so the log shipping has been configured now let's fire uh, two transactions on our primary instance uh, so that there are few changes for us to see this is the first change and in one of the records and also a stored procedure so we have see if we have made two changes on the primary instance of the database as we can see there is a change now let's try and see if these changes are replayed on the log shipping uh, instance or not we will see one job for backup here created this is the backup job we can view history to check if the backup as we can see there is a backup uh, job running and it has already taken the backup now once this has run there will be a file in the there will be a dot trn file in the secondary as we can see on the primary we can see this trn file has been placed on the primary and this will be soon copied onto the secondary we can also we can view that the status of this by the job sql agent job here on the secondary instance as we can see there is a copy and a restore job created so let's view the history as we can see the job has run copy job has run so there should be a file on the secondary instance pretty soon this job copy job has run so and there will be the last job for restoring we can validate the changes uh, onto the secondary instance here once the restore job has run we can see still it has not reflected so let's hope in one minute or so it will be let's see if the restore job has run right you can see this job is running it is in progress and uh, it is completed the job has successfully completed for restoration of the transactions so let's try and query on the secondary instance okay i believe uh, this job uh, the secondary instance uh, the secondary job for copy missed out this uh, folder due to the timings due to the timing so in the next batch i believe it will be uh, it will be getting copied so we'll have to wait for one more cycle the next 3 minutes i guess it will copy it onto the secondary folder once that is copied i'm sure it will get uh, restored right we can see there the secondary uh, server folder has transaction files uh, now for restore and uh, swear pretty soon the these files will be restored by the restoration jobs restoration job uh, the second batch of the restore job will be running uh, very soon yeah it's running as we can see it's in progress so this job will uh, do the restoration i'm very sure okay that has succeeded now if we should just go and check the secondary instance of the server right we can see the secondary instance of server has the record that was changed and also if we can check the sp if it has been replayed or not right we can see the sp has also been uh, copied and uh, with the transactional restore uh, so the log shipping has been configured as per our need additionally uh, one more point that i would like to bring to your notice is uh, when there is whenever we try the log shipping uh, to be configured in a read only mode we'll file we will find an additional dot tuf file in created by the restoration job the final restore job which which will actually restore the dot trn files uh, onto 
the secondary instance of database uh, for log shipping uh, will create a dot tuf file the dot tuf file is actually uh, nothing but uh, the transactional undo file this file is created on the secondary uh, folder by the restore job when it runs this file keeps an eye on the incomplete un, uh, un incomplete uncommitted transactions uh, transactions which happened on the primary database and uh, uh, while the .trn file uh, backup was generated so it just tries to keep uh, in sync with the uncompleted uh, transactionals uncommitted transactions this file uh, will not be visible and will not be created if we configure the log shipping in uh, uh, no recovery mode uh, so that's uh, that was one point i was just i was just trying to bring to your notice so that's about it for uh, as far as log shipping is uh, concern now if uh, if there is a failover happening on the primary uh, instance of uh, primary instance of database let's just try and uh, see how uh, we will be getting the secondary instance of database uh, alive and active uh, for our response so this is a manual failover that needs to be done in log shipping so we'll have to restore the database restore the database to on the secondary instance so the restore has been done now this database would be active and will support all the all the uh, updates inserts and deletes tml operations and everything can be performed on on this as it is no more in read only format and it's in active state so let's just try and update a single record right as we can see the update has been successful and the database is in currently uh, active state so that was all about uh, log shipping its configuration and its uh, uh, how we can bring it back to online state if the database uh, goes down on the primary instance uh, thanks so much guys uh, the next session for uh, next demo session we will be taking up mirroring and how to configure and and uh, how far mirroring is uh, called as uh, one of the most uh, real time log shipping solutions and how it is able to fail over automatically onto uh, from the primary to the secondary instance that is a principle from the principle to the mirrored instance we'll just have a look at that thanks so much guys for now bye bye take care